Hello guys, my name is Databyte, and recently I started a survival world that was mainly focused on building because I was inspired because I was watching some other people and I got inspired to start a building world of my own and the idea was to build things but not just randomly like in an organized way so villages towns build in an organized way but so I started that world not that long ago but then my brothers and sisters started to tell me, bruh, that's really good. And because of that, I've convinced myself that p other people might want to see it. So I'm going to put it out there on YouTube. I'm going to try to make videos on it, but I didn't want to restart it. So I'm going to make a episode zero, which is this episode, to uh, get you guys up to speed on what's happening in the world so that I can make the next video in the world. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, guys, here I am in the Create New World menu. Um, so if you want to follow along, um, I'm going to be showing the seed. I'll throw that up on the screen real quick. So if you want to follow along, this is on the uh, Java edition of the game and in version 1.14.4. Okay, so the seed is negative 1, 1, 2, 9, 7, 6, 7, 0, 1, 0. Sorry if there's a little bit of weird noise. I just bumped the uh, phone microphone. Uh, the way I record is uh, I have my phone recording audio and then I have my computer recording audio. And then I pair those audios up together to get even better sounding audio and that's why sometimes the audio might get a little bit worse because then my phone sometimes will stop recording okay so now i'm gonna create the world in creative mode because this isn't the actual world this is so i can show you the process that i went through when i started the world oh just another thing i want to say um in the next video there's gonna be like i had the music turned on in-game music because i liked it i have it turned off now for your guys's benefit because sounds really bad when there's music and then it just gets cut. Okay, so this is the spawn. This is where I spawn in my survival world. And the first thing I did was I got up here, looked up here, came over here, saw that tree, and ran over to this tree. Then I dug up this tree, and then I made a crafting table and a wooden pickaxe. And then I came down here and mined until my wooden pickaxe broke. Pro tip, if, if you don't do this already, only ever make a wooden pickaxe. Because you can get stone so easily. You could do that thing where you mine two blocks down at a time like this. Look, stone. But anyway, I got stone. And then I made a stone axe and a stone pickaxe. I think those are the only two tools I made. And then I came over here. Oh, I, hu I hung out here for a little bit and almost died. Because there were some mobs down there, but I didn't. And then I came over here to this tree. This one. This big one. And either chopped it most of the way down. Or all the way down. I don't know because chopping these trees down is so annoying. I hate it when they grow like this because, you know, it's hard to chop them down. Okay, and then I might have chopped down other trees around here, but I don't know. But then I came up around here, came around here, around this mountain right here, and then I came up to here. Now I continued on over here, which... Then there was a extreme hills biome. I believe it's an extreme hills biome. It might be a hills, but I think it's extreme. I'm not going to check the F3 menu. I'm just going to keep going. I did not make that jump in the survival game, obviously. Um, but then I came over here and was coming this way. And it was getting dark. And I know because this is around where I made my first base. Well, it's not a base. It was just a like a, a hidey hole. I want to call it that. But it was in one of these coal veins. I think it was this one. Because I remember looking out and seeing that hill with a bunch of cows on it. Now, I think mobs spawn differently, but like when you generate world. But I think they also spawn a little bit the same. Because as you can see, there's some cows around here. But I remember, yeah, staying in here. But it, I made it bigger and got more stone. And then came out the next day and I continued on this way. I didn't, this is not where I wanted to stay because I was really thinking about where do I want to build and what do I want everything to look like? And I was thinking I wanted to build like medieval style. So then I came around here. I was looking for the perfect place. And then um, I came around the base of this mountain. I was following this mountain. I was also collecting coal that I could. And then I came up the mountain, but not all the way up, just up to this part up here. Probably collected this coal. And then, yeah, I remember looking at this. And then I went this way. 
And I was lucky because over this way, there's a village. Just, there's the village. There's the village. And then it was getting dark again in the survival world. But I came over here to this village. And the first thing I did, or at least one of the first things I did, because I didn't go far in before I, I came into this house. This house. And it was getting dark. So I slept in this bed. And then the next day, I took this bed, which probably was bad for the village because it knew 1.14 stuff. And I didn't take that crafting table. And then that. And then... I took at least one pumpkin for seeds, and then I continued on to the village, and I made sure to look in every house. And this house, I believe, yeah, it, it oh, wait. I don't think this chest was here in my world. It probably was, but there's one chest that was kind of an important one. So then I came over here, and obviously I looked in this house, saw that there was nothing here, so I didn't really want to stay. This iron golem is still here in the survival world. Um, this house is the one. I came in here. Okay, there were emeralds, two emeralds. That was the big thing about this chest when I came to this village before in my survival world, which I actually used one of those emeralds later on to trade with a wandering trader. I know, sad. But once you find out what the trade is, you might not think it was that bad because the trade from the wandering trader was one emerald for a melon seed. And there were no melon seeds here in this village. And there was even an abandoned mine shaft over where uh, I had decided to start and two dungeons. Neither one of them had melon seeds, so I was like, melon seeds, that sounds useful, so. And it was one emerald, so. Like, I have one emerald, but then I came over to this well, and then I probably came over and looked in this house, saw that there wasn't really anything in here, so then I came out. I did look at these houses over here, I don't really have anything in them either. Like, I did not look at that one. I have not gone to that one yet in my survival world, but I did go to that one. There's nothing really there. It's just, you know, a small village house. Okay, then, yeah, over here at the well, so I had to turn down here. There's a big drop right here. And apparently, if villagers get in this thing, they can't seem to get out. And animals. Because there were villagers in here, and they wouldn't get out. I came this way. I was, pro I was collecting berries also, because they were good. And I came down here, and this house had nothing really good in it well it has nothing good in it anyway so i um passed that one up and then i came to this one and i think i spent another night in this one but this one was good because if we come in here we can see it has bookshelves which i ended up using later on i destroyed all of these bookshelves and turned them into lecterns or at least some of them and then it had this chest i don't know what was in this chest i know it wasn't an emerald but i do i do know i got potatoes from somewhere in this village so the potatoes might have been there Sad thing is, I accidentally cooked up all the potatoes in the survival world. So, I have one cooked potato in my inventory all the time, and I never eat it. So then I left that, and then I decided to continue on. And I decided to go through this swamp this way. So, I went straight this way, just across this swamp, like this. And then I decided to follow this river, because I was- I- now I was really thinking about- what do I want the place I build in to look like? At this point, I was really thinking about, what do I want the place I build in to look like? I was really thinking about that really quite hard, because I didn't know. I didn't know that foxes attack fish. Okay, anyway. And then, so I continued on down this river thinking, what do I want the place I build in to look like? And I came to this, right here, and I was like, yes. This is what I want to build in. I could, like, maybe put a castle or something over there. Eventually have a village over here, maybe even have a village over there instead of a castle. And right there, biggest inspiration, mine entrance, for sure. Look at that. It's just begging for like a Jurassic Park gate mine entrance right there, right? Wait, did the sun just bounce up? I don't know. I'm going to cut so that you don't have to see nighttime. But anyway, so I came to this bank right here, and th this is where I started. I chopped down these trees right here, did a little bit of terraforming, got rid of this thing that comes out right here. I think I got rid of it a lot, actually. And then this pond right here, it's actually still in the survival world. Just it's not as big, and it doesn't have this overhang thing. In fact, I have a picture of it that I'll be showing you later. So I built my first house right here, and then I built a stone cutting shop thing right 
here about. And then I built another house, well, a blacksmith house right over here. Then I built a custom tree like right here, maybe. I don't know. I just know it was almost in this biome where the leaves would look nice, but it wasn't. So the leaves didn't look nice. And then I built, because I had a house for me and a house for a blacksmith, there was a stone cutting shop, but there was no house for the stone cutter to live in. Now there, I wasn't using villagers. I was just saying, what if there were people living here? You would have me living there, a blacksmith living there because the blacksmith house was connected to the blacksmith shop. But then there was a stone cutting shop, but it wasn't connected to a house. So right over here, I built kind of just a generic house for a stone cutter. Well, for the stone cutter, because there is no actual villagers in this village. I'm just saying, what if? There's nothing really special about that house. It's just a house. And then I kind of expanded this way. This mushroom, I know was not here because I didn't dig up any mushrooms and I dug up like all of these trees. I'll show you later in this video. But I came over here, made a little bit of pathing, made a lamp post, and then I came over here about, I think it was the sand about right here. Yeah, right there, that's where it ended. And I was like, I need a bridge. And this is a perfect spot. And I was like, diagonal bridge time. It was a one by one diagonal. So it was like that. And I went across. And I was going for one of those like stone arch bridges that are like short and they're being held up by the sides. So like it's structurally good right here and here. And then you kind of have it like going in the middle. And then I textured that up and stuff. And I was like, oh, because like I had built a Jurassic Park entrance thing over there. I was like, oh, now I know how to fix that because I had like layers of different kinds of stone and it just wasn't looking right. Now I know how to fix it because I built this bridge but then yeah i came over here made a little bit of pathing cleared out this area made it flat like i there's still a little bit of that yeah that's still there yeah i rounded it off right here and got rid of this and these trees but then i built a lumber or sawmill whichever one you want to call it right here biggest it's the biggest building in the village right now it came out actually really well, I think. And the logs were pretty hard to make, but eventually I got them. And that's where it all kind of is right now. Now, really quickly, I just want to show you how lucky I was picking this spot, because I had no idea anything was here. Okay, so I came down right in here. I made it bigger though, but I came down right in here and kind of just went down this way. I broke into this and I was like, no. So then I went and explored it and I found a zombie dungeon, which I think I remember the way to it. Oh yes, here it is. So we have this. Came down here. There were zombies everywhere. And I was like, wow, there must be a zombie spawner. So I was like, that would be really lucky. And came right around here. Boom. Zombie spawner. And this isn't what was in the chest, I think. I did get four saddles though. And some name tags from all the loot in all. I also have three disc 13s. Which is very questionable. Right up this way is the entrance, the thing. So I was mining down and I broke in this thing. I was like, oh, cause I felt like I was ruining it. Cause I knew it was here. So, you know, I was like, oh no, I wasn't like, oh, another one. I was like, oh, I broke into this. And I'm kind of turning this area down here into a dungeon, like using kind of like this with a little bit of andesite thrown in. Now I'm going to show you where the skeleton spawner is. Okay guys, so I'm back up here now. So down that way was the um, mine shaft that I had found and the zombie dungeon. But before I made this, or at least sometime around while I was making it, I was exploring around here looking for some more caves and I came up to this beach right here. Came up around here, was exploring over around here. I was like, ooh, nice, look. Uh, you know, thing that goes down into a cave. But the thing is there, it was kind of a lot of skeletons down here. So, you know, I came down here very carefully and then I came down here and boom, skeleton dungeon. The way this one spawned also has three disc 13s in this world. This enchanted golden apple is actually in my uh, survival world version. And these caves don't really go anywhere. They're both dead end caves. But this, um, in the next video, I'm actually gonna turn it into a skeleton grinder for mending tools and for bone meal and stuff. That's all the stuff I have to show you in, in this. So I'm just gonna give you an overview. So yeah, this is the overview. So now um, I'm gonna hop into a bunch of pictures that I have. They're kind of like the progression of it a little bit. It's not like every single second, but it's like every single build. I'm gonna hop into that real quick. Okay guys, I'm back. So here's the pictures. I'm gonna show you one picture of each build that I made and then I'm gonna go through and show you every picture I've taken of the world. But anyway, so this is the starter house I made. 
So I was like, L-shaped medieval house, which I was going very off of like, I don't know, I looked up medieval house because I wanted a reference picture, but not like a Minecraft one, a real life one. And I couldn't find any that were actually like stone on bottom and white on top, like the way I thought medieval houses were. I guess this is more of like a, uh, stereotypical medieval house maybe something like that because like i think the ones that these like ones are based off of are called like tudor houses might have said that name wrong but i think that's what they're based off of but this is the first house i made now um i'm gonna cut to the next picture of the next thing i built in this world okay guys also i just want to say most of these pictures are taken with um a shader turned on because um it looks better with shaders don't get me wrong okay I don't play the game with shaders, just in case you're wondering, but I take the pictures with shaders. Now, I I do feel like some people might not like that for some reason, so I'm just going to say that really quickly. But this is the uh, third thing I built, actually. I don't have any pictures that are directly of the uh, stonecutter shop. But as you can see, this is what I mean by Jurassic Park-style mine entrance. Yeah, I'm not exactly happy with those pillars, but I know how to fix them now. I'm going to change them all to cobblestone, start throwing some andesite in there, and I don't think I'm gonna put in polished andesite. Maybe a couple by the bottom, maybe? But I'm gonna put in some mossy cobblestone. So, yeah, here's the mine entrance. Now I'm gonna cut to the next building that I built. Okay, so here's the next building I built. The, um, stone... No, not the stonemason shop. The stonemason shop is in the, uh, left corner, though. This is kind of a direct picture of it. Not exactly, it's mostly of the town, but uh, that's the uh, stonemason shop right there. But on the uh, right, the new building is the uh, blacksmith shop. And the little thing that's coming down off of it, you might have a hard time seeing it. Maybe you don't. That is where all the blacksmith stuff will go. And the chimney actually goes down into that part to a blast furnace. Cause I was like, why don't we give each building a purpose? So that first one is for me to kind of live in and keep stuff in. This, the stonemason shop was so that I could put a um, stone cutter in there. So I wanted to use a stone cutter. And then the uh, blacksmith shop was so I could pop in a uh, blast furnace and a anvil. And then later on I put a grindstone in there. Cause I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure a grindstone would go in there. But yeah, so this is what we have now. So I'm gonna cut to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing I built was this tree. I built a custom tree and I knew I wanted to build a custom tree. There was like, I want to build a custom tree right here, which these buildings, I'm trying to build them off of reference pictures, like of real buildings that would look like this, except for the stonemason shop. That one was not off of reference picture. But so, you know, to build this tree, I obviously look up a reference picture of a real life dark oak tree. And I'm like, why can't I find this? And then a little bit later, my brother tells me dark oak trees don't actually exist, but they're based off of a real life tree. So I asked him the type of the tree it's based off of. I don't remember the name right now, but the tree looks like an oak tree kind of. It's like, so it's got like a big trunk and then like really round looking leaves up there at the top. So that's what I tried to kind of go with here. But it's also really tall. Which, I think I kind of got that, but it's a little bit not round enough. But yeah, so that's one angle of the custom tree. You'll see some later. But I'm going to cut to the next building now. Okay, here's a picture of the stonemason house that I built. It's just a normal house, but it's meant to be for the stonemason. I'm thinking maybe I should go back in later on and put a flower pot by that window, maybe. But this one is pretty much just a generic house. Now, it's based off of the original house, because as you can see, it has a wooden um foundation instead of a stone one. But then it doesn't have, like, the same kind of roof. I went for, like, kind of cobblestone outline on the roof. And then I think, I think it's dark oak on the inside. You'll see later what I mean. But yeah, so now I'm going to cut to the next thing. Okay, so here you might, it might be a little hard to tell what the next thing I built was, but it also might not be. This is also the uh, thumbnail picture. So you probably recognize this one. One. But um, in the left corner, well not corner, but like kind of the left middle, you can see that there's a bridge. That's the bridge I built. I'm really actually, I'm really proud of that bridge. I really like that bridge because like it really taught me like stone texturing, how to do it the right way. And I didn't look up any tutorials on how to like do stone texturing. I was just like, I need the palette. So I built the bridge out of dirt first. So that, you know, it was like a skeleton so I could see what the bridge shape would look like. And so I wouldn't have to use like a pickaxe to mine it. And then I turned it all into cobblestone, except for, you know, of course, the middle wooden part. And then I was like, now I'm going to texture this baby up. And then I threw in some andesite. 
I was like, that's actually making it look really good. I was like, it needs mossy cobblestone though. Like I just knew it needed mossy cobblestone and mossy cobblestone made it look really good. But yeah, that's what it looks like. That's not a very good picture of it, I guess. But it's also a really good picture. Like, this is a good picture, but I guess it's not a very good picture of the bridge. You'll see some better ones later on. But now, um, we get to the next thing I built. Oh, and, um, by the way, this pond is that pond I told you about before. The one that I said is still there in the world right now. That's it right there. I just, um, you know, took off the top part thing. And made it smaller but i didn't have to add any water to it i just made it smaller but yeah i just thought i would say that okay this is the picture i chose to show of the lumber slash sawmill as you can see it's a pretty big building this i did also i built this also off of a reference picture of a model of a building as you can see it's got kind of like an airy space underneath where they'd be like working with the wood you can also see how the wood came out like the wood piles i really like that i want to go add in some unlit campfires though to make it look even better and you can see some wooden buttons around that's if you haven't figured it out out already that's just like wood shavings that are just strewn everywhere really adds some um i don't know what to call it atmosphere maybe i don't know i'm no good with these terms but yeah you can see it's kind of airy on the bottom and then maybe you can or cannot see it in like the corner of the bottom a part where you can go inside like not just under a roof but inside and then so what i was thinking was you can go inside that part and it, they work on wood in there a little bit more also but yeah so and then we have the second layer that's where like the uh main wood cutter person would live something like that i don't know if there's i don't know if they had main woodcutters or if they just had multiple maybe it's a family if it's a family of woodcutters they all live up there but if it's just like one person then they would live up there but i imagine that multiple people would work on wood in a place like this but then you can see we have the roof which is the attic and um it's the only floor that actually has wood shavings in it because the second floor i made sure to make it clean and seem like a space that someone would live in but then i wanted to make the attic seem like a place where like the person that lived there worked when it's like nighttime and stuff so that you know he could continue working if he needed to also there's like some plants up there and stuff anyway i think that's the last thing i've built in my world so far so now i guess we can get on to a um compilation of like all the pictures i've taken of this world i'm gonna play them in like order i think i have over a hundred pictures of this world but anyway i'm gonna jump into that now Okay guys, I am back. The uh, compilation thing that I was gonna do actually made the video like 38 minutes long, which is like, you know, really long. So I'm just gonna publish it as its own video because it's like 16 minutes long. I think I might be able to make it 15, but um, I'll show you this before and after pictures that I have of the world. And then I think I'll end the video. Hey guys, this is actually the second video I've recorded and edited, so it might have a little bit more quality than the next one, I'm not sure. But now, um, I'm winging it from here, I'm giving myself 28 seconds to say this, um, because I'm hoping that I can slowly make it less and less, so that it's more of like an outro thing. Oh, uh, I have 8 seconds, I don't know how to say goodbye, I'm just gonna have like, I'm gonna make clicking mouse noises, so...